Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Bear. People really used to go on vacation, huh? Can't imagine. They did. At least before the UIR took this place over. Good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Essentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Whoa, you 
figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Ben. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy. It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just futzing around with its shield generators. Hey, did you hear that Paddy guy's accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, ma'am. And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor, and they started making these. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply has been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult. To say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway. And the desert awaits. Event. What did Baird say? A small civil war? Not likely. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay. Light last missing. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the call once. Alongside your friend Bear. He showed me that not all call are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. 
Let me know if you want a few desert pipes. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and we've never seen weird formations like this before. It's sad. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You, my friend, missed your calling. You should be teaching science. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do that. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best of him.
All right, I know why we're here, but where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. <laughs> This thing and find an old rocket. <laughs> Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Get us up. Come on, come on. 
Keep it back! Let him have it! Spin those tires around! That's it. They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? Place look huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Faz. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. What's on the other side of that claw? Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, bear. The hangar's empty. Well, if the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Hey, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Whew, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. R right, buddy? <laughs> no virus to stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Got it. I assume we can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? 
What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, we're Baz Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Fira. My parents wouldn't even speak to Ascari. They want us to it different. Okay. What now? Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a pantry. Is it then? Jack, bring it over. <laughs> Finally, something I can drive. Come on, you lot. All aboard. Okay, boss. Take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah? I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege get this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. them all. There. Let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? Help me with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More of them. 
How are we handling this one? Okay, they're on to us. About bloody time. launch the hammer yourself, but now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time, but eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. <laughs> Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming.
My dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Mm. You, Lascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Okay, should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. First. Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Pat has got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Uzi to judge. He tried to launch it himself. Okay. Let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Let's try this. There, satellite's on the move. Stay clear of that rail, people! Maybe it just needs a nudge. Okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shove. might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh, swarm on the other platform! Sitting 
a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh, we're on the other platform! Sitting dust down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that. Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh, more on the other platform! Sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that. Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! Yeah. <laughs> 
Take us away! Here we go! Okay, Dell, let's clear this platform. You got it! Got another one! JD! Got all of them? Uh, yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Then Foz, dock the gantry so we can connect the satellite. Get this done. Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. Satellite secured. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Is a backer. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. Ah, oh, damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. <sighs> and I was just getting the hang of driving it. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone.
There, let's keep up with it. Watch it, below us. through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rockets soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Jack, we need some light. Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Need some help! Satellites are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. Keep it moving, Delta. Looks like we're all clear. 
Okay. Just so you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not won't matter. We just find a way back up. Over there! Incoming! Bloody hell. Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. would be so difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists, rocket scientists, and anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button, mark, and launch? Oh, I see. Yeah, pick on the handsome one, cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the handsome one. Oh, dear God. Hey, Paddock. You still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stopped you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. And spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Garavian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. All right, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. 
But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Yeah. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock, how does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it.